Okay, so let's use a red pin. Very good. I like this one. Very good. Marisa, oh, you connected to that? Very good. Hopefully, it will move. Yes, yes. All right. So, we're all right? Okay. Excellent. So, Janelle, what is the pin in love? Shh. shh. The visceral layer of the tunica vaginalis. So, that's in the visceral layer of the tunica vaginalis. Okay? That's the visceral layer. Sir, you can look on the screen if you want. Screen. It's on the screen. Um, you can get on it, Marisol. Mm -hmm. All right. So there we are looking at the which testes are we looking at? Right. All right. Which testes are we looking at? So we said. All right. We said we're looking at the right testes. And what do we observe? What do we observe? What do we observe? We observe that's the what. The left testis is at a lower level. Okay, we observe that the left testis is here at a lower level than the right testis. Okay, they will soon move, relax. So the testis here has some coverings. Okay, and we see some coverings. And this one here is very shiny. Okay, and that is, as we said, the what, Janelle? The visceral layer of the tunica vaginalis. If we went in the exam and they reflected the testis like that, sorry, sorry, love, sorry, Marisa, then out here, that's the parietal layer, okay? So, Adrian, where is this coming from? This um, tunica vaginalis, where is this covering coming from? The tunica vaginalis, where does it take its origin from? Peritoneum. Okay, so peritoneum. Okay, so it's taking it so in the descent of the testis, you know, you know, in the descent, I'm trying to, in the descent of the testis, we find that one of the first layer it encounters is peritoneum. Okay, so outside that's the parietal layer and the red pin is in the visceral layer. Okay, all right, Marissa, what lies deep to that? What lies deep to that? Into tunica vaginalis? No, what, yeah, what ties deep to the visceral layer of the tunica vaginalis? Mm. Yeah. What lies deep yeah. to that tunica visceral albuginia? layer? And that is the tunica albuginea. Okay. What type of tissue is that formed by? Mm. Hmm? Fibrous. White fibrous, fibrous tissue. Okay. Remember the same thing we uncovered in the dura mater. The dura mater was formed by white fibrous tissue. So the tunica albuginea is also covered by white fibrous tissue. And Marissa, deep to that layer, what do we find? The tunica vasculosa. Okay, the tunica vasculosa. What's the lymphatic drainage? So we're going to the exam and there's a pin in there. What's the lymphatic drainage? Aortic nodes. Those are, yeah, those are paraaortic nodes. Okay, That's, those are paraaortic nodes. Very good. All right. No, Janelle, not Janelle. We can see back here. Okay, so yeah, very good. Very, 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 very good. Okay. So you can actually see very interestingly the visceral layer of the just deep to the tunica vaginalis. That's the visceral layer. Okay, very good. All right. All right. So back here, what's that structure? Hmm? What's posterior there? What's posterior there? That man in the in the maroon shirt, Mr. Bahamas. What's the pin in there? Yeah, so that's a portion of the epididymis here. Okay, the duct of the epididymis. Where does it end? In the ejaculatory duct. Joins the 
duct of the seminal vesicle to form the ejaculatory duct. Okay, all right. No. What's the lymphatic drainage of here? There. What's the lymphatic drainage? All right. I soon pass it around. Let me just get this coffee down a bit and then I'll pass it around a little. I don't want it draining in my coffee. But there you can see. I want to get out. What this is actually. I'm starting anything, we're just doing what we had done last time. Oh, what is your name, sir? Hmm? Randon. Alright, so what's the lymphatic drainage? That's the medial group of superficial inguinal nodes. Very good. Medial group of superficial inguinal nodes. Alright. All right, you know, just relax. Put it over to the side here. Yeah? All right, these pins, just put them to the side here. Yeah? They're always getting in the way. All right, very good. All right. So that's the medial group of superficial inguinal nodes. But the testis is going to where? To the paraaortic nodes. All right. Okay, this question is for one man alone. Who is the question for, Marissa? Robinson. No, Robinson. leave him alone. Adrian. 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 No, 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 no. Errol. Yes, the question is for one person alone, and we're not to be shouting out the answer. All right, and the question is for a man by the name of Matthew. <laughs> No, easy. <laughs> Alright. Very good. So, Matthew, where is the pin, please? Sinus of the epididymis. Hot. Very, very good. That's excellent. That is the sinus of the epididymis. So, that's very good. Sinus of the epididymis. Alright. Okay. No, we started the last tutorial on this structure. Okay, we started the last tutorial. The first thing we did in the last tutorial, Marissa, without saying the name Marissa, was this structure right here. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Mad as hell. So Marissa, I mean, um, what is that structure there? Matthew, what's that structure? Dorsal vein. The deep dorsal vein of the penis. Very good. Passing right below a, ligament, a little ligament here known as the arcuate ligament. So when we see a vein, comes in every exam. Everyone. That's the deep dorsal vein of the penis. Okay? Alright, and then it's draining into this area right here. I don't know what you're seeing on the screen. Yeah, but maybe you need to back up. Yes, you can get some orientation. Oh, it's good, but you need to just come up that you can get some orientation. Okay, let's just show it like that. Yeah, come back up and then you look here. There. Okay, so this is what? That's the prostatical disciple venous plexus. Okay, so the venous plexus around the prostate is referred to as the prostatical, and we can see the deep dorsal vein of the penis draining into the prostatic of the cycle okay all right now we also looked at this structure here and we're asking one person alone and that person is a man by the name of Nicholas very good okay what let me show the general public wait Bulbospongiosus. That muscle is the what? Bulbospongiosus. Function me alone. Um, it's... <laughs> What's the function? Last ex expels the last drop of urine. Expels the last few drops of what? Semen. Urine or what? Semen. Right? That's helping, helping a little young man with his G-san. Alright? He, he thought that it was 
S E A men. No, no, not those kind of seamen, right? These are not a seamen, right? So, this seamen here is a different sort of seamen, all right? No. Very good. All right, so, Matthew, what's the motor innovation to that muscle? Perineal perineal branch. Very good. So, every, everything down is the what? Perineal branch, yeah? Good end all. Everything in that region is the perineal branch of the pudendal. There's a man by the name of Matthew. Not Matthew, Nicholas. Nicholas. In which space would you find the bulbus spongiosus? Space? Space. Space? Space. Space. Marissa, which space, love? <laughs> Very good. We hear it, heard it behind, and that is the superficial perineal pouch. Very good. The superficial perineal pouch contains what me in the meal? The superficial perineal pouch contains what in the meal? Hmm, what? And that is the root of the penis. You want me? The root of the penis, also known as the radix. The what? The root of the penis, or the what? Radix. R A D I X. The radix of the penis. Very good. So we're just having fun, relaxing here. All right. So, me, what are we stroking here? The conjoint fissure pubic rami. Okay. What gains attachment to this in the male and female? Very good, very good, nothing wrong with that. What other structure? Yes. We're going to do it soon, you know, relax. The what? We're just relaxing. And that's the what? Go with it, Matthew. Easier, the pura of the penis. The what of the penis? Pura of the penis. Or the pura or cruz. There's one. The pura of the penis. All right, patience. So the penis needs to be well what? Anchored. Has to be anchored down what? Firmly. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> to be anchored, the penis has to be anchored down firmly, all right, because it's exposed to a lot of what? Abrasion. A lot of bangorango. <laughs> madness, all right, so the penis has to be anchored down firmly, and as those medical colleagues or surgeons will tell you, sometimes you get what? Fracture of the penis, okay? Fractured, right? And the guy will tell you the way he got fractured is that he fell out of the bed and got it fractured, right? Okay. All right. Not a good situation, Amy. Good or bad? No. Very much. Very much. get it fractured, all right? Okay. So the penis has to be what? Well anchored, and it's anchored on to what? Bone. And the bone that is so therefore when you look at the female ischia pubic ramus, the female ischia pubic ramus is tiny, small. The male it is very well developed. Alright, okay, and one of those reasons is for it needs to form a solid anchor, you know, foundation for the penis to be going on to. They know that's covered by muscle and that muscle is known as what? Ischia cavernosus. Okay. What else is in terms of fascia? What else is attached to me? Uh, superficial. Um. In terms of fascia, what else is attached here? We're just relaxing, you know, just having fun. Collie's yeah. fascia. What is attached there? Collie's fascia. Okay? So, Collie's fascia is a continuation of whose fascia? Scarpa's fascia into the perineum. Okay? Very good. And that fascia is going to attach to the inverted edges of the ischia pubic rami and the posterior border of the urogenital diaphragm. Very good. Remember the 
perineum is diamond shaped, divided into an anal triangle and a urogenital triangle. All right. So if we get back to this, therefore, the um, that's the bulbospongiosus, and therefore that's the bulbospongiosus. What is this structure right here? Danny, what's that spinning right there, though? Anne, what is that? Anne, Anna? Yes, Anna, what is that pin in there, though? Mm. The what? Mm. Bulb. Right, because it is covered by a structure known as what? Bulbous spongiosus. Makes sense. Makes sense. Patience. Very good. That's the bulb of the penis. All right. All right, very good. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me put it in another point. Okay. So, me take that pin back out again. Put it back in. Now trace it forward a bit. Trace that white layer forward. Yeah, take the take the take pin and just trace it forward. Yeah, okay. All right, put it in around at that corner there, right at that corner. Good. What have you placed the pin in? So, just relax. I Just relax. It's... No. It doesn't look to me. Sorry, dear. Don't let that gentleman in the red shirt back here. Oh, God. He has a partner with you again. I've seen there. Partner. Very good. Very good. Very good. See, Kevin? All right, so what is the pin in there? Janelle, what's the pin in? I don't know, sir. I don't know. I don't Take know, the pin out. Know, Take the pin out. Okay. All right. Put it back originally where it was. Where was it? Here? Yep. There. There. Okay. There. <laughs> now trace that white layer and come around. Look. Put it in somewhere there. Yes. You have it in the white layer? Ah, in the white layer. Yeah, what is that pin in? Tunica albuginea. Okay. Okay, that is the what? That is the Tunica albuginea. So they like to ask you on the exam. So the white covering of the penis there is the what? All of that, all of that yeah, that's white. All of that that's white. Is the what? Tunica albuginea. All right. What do we notice? We're just having fun. That the tip of the coccyx is on the same level. We're sort of getting back to where we were in the last tutorial, okay? All right. We're just getting back. We're just going to ask a basic question, you know, a silly question. Very, very basic question. All right. Basic question. Janelle, where is the pin in? Sacral promontory. Okay, that's a sacral promontory. Remember, back here is a thing called what? Waldaya's fascia. Okay, but we're still with a neat lady by the name of Janelle. Janelle, the pin is in a space. What is the name of that space? And that is the recto disciple pouch. All right, known as a pouch of Prost. Prost. That's the recto disciple. Hmm? Yeah. P R O U S T. That's the recto disciple pouch of Prost. Okay, relax. We have done nothing new. Okay. No. There's a man, Matthew. Where's the pin? Seminal vesicles. Those are the seminal vesicles. Okay. And the peritoneum just covers the what? The tips of the seminal vesicle. Mm -hmm. Peritoneum is just going to cover the tips of the seminal vesicle. What do we notice, uh, Matthew? That the apex of the prostate is at the same level roughly as the tip of the coccyx. And the apex of the prostate is roughly at the tip of the coccyx. Okay? So there is a prostate. So there we're looking now at a distended what? Urinary bladder. Okay, so we see a very distended 
urinary bladder. No, to the man in maroon. There's a maroon shirt man, a visitor. All right, the visitor man. Okay, we have a question for the visitor. You can see there clearly. Let's let's go to, let's do it properly for the visitor. Watch here. Very good for the visitor. Very good. Where is that pin in? Very good. Go back again, Marissa. Right back. Right back. Right back. Okay. So this is a thing called anterior abdominal wall. Okay. This is an area of the mons pubis. The what? Mons pubis. Very good. So we just come down now. Come down. Very good. More. Very good. And the name of the man is Mr. Redshirt. Yes. No, the name of the structure. Very good. Hmm? The man is very good. That's excellent. Very good. I'm sure he's smiling. The what? That is the what? Okay. That is the what? Perimidalis. Very good. Sure, he's impressed. Yes, yes. Sure he's impressed here. That's a good start. All right. Very good. All right. Now, what's the nerve supply? What's the nerve supply? Still the man in the red shirt. The one? Oh, she's looking very depressed. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What is it, by? Subcostal. Very good. So the T12 nerve gets into the rectus sheath to innervate the what? The pyramidalis. Very good. All right. So we're seeing a number of structures here. And then now, Matthew, we're in a space. So we can just pull this structure apart and we're in a space. All right, this is a potential space, but it has not been opened up. What's the name of that potential space? Yeah, what's the name of that potential space? space? That is potential space, is the space of Denon Villas. Just having in there what? Loose connective tissue. Very good. All right, all right. Very good. No? All right, so. That man in the red shirt, again, we have another question for him. Pass his partner. Partner is... Uh, me quote the partner, very good, all right. But the man in the red shirt, no. All right, what is the... Um, what's the pinning precisely? We're just having a little phone, you know, let's relax. Oh. Oh, whoops, whoops, sorry, sorry. You put that cup on just anybody yeah. piece in here for me, thanks. Yeah. And that is in the in what Matthew no. Right now. Precisely what is it in? Very, very important structure. Retroprostatic fascia. What is that? That's the retroprostatic fascia. Okay, so that plays an important role, right? So that limits that is going to, so that's going to form a barrier. Not a, obviously just not an effective barrier, but at least it limits for a while the spread of malignancy from the okay. prostate. Okay, so that is retroprostatic fascia, and then in front of the rectum that is pre-rectal fascia. And the pre-rectal and retroprostatic give you the fascia of denon videos. Very good. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. All right. Okay. We're leaving this specimen here now. So, let me know. Take. All right. That one can just get yeah, go with you. That one over in the basin now. We can bring that one in the basin. Let's get into the real thing now.